Sorry guys, I was just playing Angry Birds. Well, you know what time it is and welcome to Kimber Talk. So, let's look at some emails. Okay, the first email is from Lauren. Dear Kimbra, I feel like what I was doing in high school isn't working. How can I adjust to college courses and all the assignments? Okay Lauren, first things first. In high school, you did a lot of busy work and college courses are mainly lecture based. So, you are expected to read on your own and take notes on your own. One thing that I do that helps me keep my notes organized is I do, it with, I do my notes with colored pens. That way I can stay engaged when I'm studying, it doesn't get boring, and if I see a question on the test, sometimes I'll say, oh, that word was in this color, so it's related to this. Um, some other tips that I have for um, taking notes, you could print off the slides or material. That way when you follow along in class, you don't have to write everything down. You can just supplement what the teacher or the professor has already given you. Another good thing is to take a highlighter and highlight through the book as the professor is speaking. So if he talks about a certain section or a certain term, you can just highlight and go back and read later. Another good tip feeding off of that is if you don't have the book with you, write down keywords or key terms. That way you can ask someone else or go to the professor's office later and get more information on it, but you have the main idea down. Okay, the next email is going to be from Kyle. Dear Kimbra, I feel like my professors don't know me. How can I get to know them better and let them know I'm interested in my classes? Well, Kyle, I applaud you for being concerned with this because everyone should. And let me see if I have some advice for you. Okay, first of all, talk to your professors before and after class. Good morning, Dr. So-and-so, how is your day? Let them know that you care to be there, you're interested in their day and how everything is going. Another good thing to do to um, engage with your professors is participate in class. Maybe they kind of brush over something or they say something that you want a little more clarification on. Just raise your hand. They want you to ask questions. They are more than willing to help. Another good thing is to go to their office hours because trust me, you're going to have a lot of assignments and you will have questions about them. So just stop by their office and ask about anything that you're unsure of, maybe a due date or maybe you just want um, some more information about a certain assignment. And I hope all these tips were very helpful for you guys and I hope your semester is going well. Remember, if you have any questions, just shoot me an email. I'll see you next week on Kimbra Talk. Hey Natalie, Hi. this is my first time at the library. Um, do you think you could help me find a book that I need? Sure, what you want to do, you'll, you'll want to hop on one of the computers and get on the UTM website and click on library and our catalog will pop up. You'll type in whatever book you need and then you'll write down the call number that pops up. Once you write down the call number, you'll want to head upstairs depending on what location it told you where the book was at find the book, bring it back to the circulation desk, and have your Skyhawk card, and I'll check it out to you. And normally you can check out a book for about three weeks. Okay, so what does it mean when a professor has put something on reserve? Okay, when a professor places something on reserve, it could be a book, magazine, or even old test files. We keep them on reserve, meaning that you as a student can come check them out, but it has to stay in the library because it is on reserve. What do I do if I don't have time to read or look at everything I need to? Okay, you might want to use the kick machine, which is over there. The kick machine allows you to scan images and email them to yourself or save them on your USB drive. Also, say you have someone's notes and you don't have time to copy them down, you can just scan them and email them to yourself. So what else does the library have to offer? Well, we have study rooms upstairs as well as many other areas to study in the library. If you want, you can check out markers here at the circulation desk right on the boards in the study rooms. 
Also, we have the Media Center where you can check out movies, laptops. We also have multimedia workstations as well as the LRC, which is always a great place to go if you have a creative project that you're going to need to be working on. Also, we have Interlibrary Loan where if there's a certain book that you need and we don't necessarily have it, we have the means of going to another library, getting it, and having it for you just for a small fee. Also, if you have any other questions or need help using the library, you can always go to our reference desk and they'll be happy to help you. Thanks, Natalie. Shh. <laughs> hey, freshmen. For those of you that don't know, Up Till Dawn is an organization here at UTM and all we do is raise money for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee. This year, our event will be October 9th here at the Student Direct Center from 2 to 9. We'll also have our annual letter writing event, so bring addresses. All you have to do is show up, bring these addresses, and fill out pre-written letters that St. Jude provides for you. You send them to your neighbors, old friends, family members asking for donations to St. Jude. Throughout the night, we'll have games, free food, door prizes. Door prizes? <gasps> yes, door prizes. I'm talking free phones, gift cards iPods, everything you could want. Oh, wow. So, Tori, what happened last year? As a matter of fact, we did so good that St. Jude honored us with the Rookie of the Year Award for raising nearly $27,000. Wow, that's a lot. So, come out October 9th here at the Student Rec Center from 2 to 9 and help save the, the day, day the St. Jude, Jude way. way. It's UT Martin's Homecoming Week. It's from October 1st through the 7th. The theme is Peace, Love, and Skyhawks. Let's talk about some activities. Monday of Homecoming Week kicks off with rope pull and it lasts all week long. You don't know what rope pull is? Well, I'm gonna tell you. It's a big tug of war between the Greeks. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> boom, balloon, boom, boom, balloon, boom, bass. I got this super bass. Are you wondering what I'm doing? I'm practicing for lip sync. It's on Tuesday of homecoming week. It's where all the Greeks come out and lip sync to their favorite tunes and costume. <gasps> What's next? Over to you, Danny. Up, down, no, left, right, two plus two. Oh, there's a dog, that, oh, I'm over here. Hey, it's me again. On Wednesday, rope pull continues. And on Thursday is the PRSSA Womenless Beauty Review. And guess what? There's no actual women. It's all men. You think I look cute in a week? Um, probably. All the money goes to a good cause. So come out and support. Uh, let's drive into the next segment. Yeah. Uh, uh. It's time for Danny's Picks of the Week. During Homecoming Week, there's three events that I always look forward to. On Friday, it's Pyramid. The Greeks come out. They do dance moves, cheerleading moves, and of course, they have to build a pyramid. Here's some highlights from last year. Yeah, it's the new day with the same rhyme. Every day I seem to wake up at the same time. No alarm clock, this is destiny. I'm afraid of law, keeps on passing me. Wake up, it's a new day. Rise and shine, it's a new day. Get on your grind, it's a new day. You waste time, it's a new day. No way, it's a new day. Wake up in the morning, open up my eyes. Danny's pick number two, Quad City. Imagine this, on Saturday morning, the entire quad filled with tents. There's gonna be organizations, games, food. I'm gonna be there, and you know what? You should be there too. Danny's pick number three, the NPAC Step Show is on Saturday night. There's gonna be music, elaborate sets, comedy, and the wow fact is gonna be out the door and across the street. Let's check out some more events. Dow! Say, hi, hi. Ah! Ah! On October 6th is the game. And you know what? It's what we've all been waiting for. And no need to mention who we're playing because they're going down. On Sunday, come out and fill your bellies with Sunday brunch. Oh, it's going to be so good. Oh, no. Oh, oh, I'm having a food today. Oh, 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 oh. oh. And don't forget to come to all the homecoming events this year. Oh. 
I recite and they bite like molars. Most of y'all just wanna blow up. Thing I wanted, starting to think it was meant for me. Grateful I seen this morning, but life is a race toward destiny, and I'm going. 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 Victory is in my sight. Can't give up. Get up. Get in the fight. This is the life. I love it, so I'm living it right. Sipping on this magnificent night. I propose a toast to growth and change. Broke the chains. Tie around souls and brains. Most folk probably gonna go insane and get ghosts when they go through fame. And